Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Merry Christmas. First day is Christmas. Today, I'm going to show you how I'm going to add an equation in iWork Maverick. It is not based on a third party software. I know there are quite a number of third party software out there. But uh, this video is going to show you on how to use the grapher. To make use of the grapher to include equation in iWork. Well, I know it can't be perfect. I'm going to show you why it's not perfect. But it helps me to do quite lots of work with that. Now, to start with, first of all, you may either launch your, uh, your pages your numbers or keynotes. Let me show you one example in pages. Um, we'll create a new document, blank, choose, and here I'm going to show you how the equation shows over here and what's the downside of having uh, that, I mean to having uh, used graph uh, to include in equation. It's not perfect though, but it helps me to get my job done. So a good deal to me. So I'll uh, bring it aside. What you know, uh, do next is to open up a uh, grapher. You may go to uh, launcher, launchpad, and then others, and then grapher. In grapher, you go to 2D, white, choose. Over here, you may key in your equation, your design equation. Over your right hand side, over here, you click on it, there are some default equation. Or you may choose show equation palette. And here, you have a range of it. Standard is what are the standard one? Operator, Greeks, symbols. Well, let me uh, show you how it will appear. Uh, Say, if I want to have a quadratic equation, it says y equals mx plus uh, y equals ax squared, ax squared space plus space bx plus x plus c. How will it appear? There are a few options. First of all, you may, uh, I mean, select everyone, everything. Right click on your eyes mouse, copy as either a picture, PDF, or text. I would not recommend to use text because otherwise it will appear not the original way. Let me use a PDF. Copy as PDF. Go back to your iPage. Right click. Choose Paste. And it will appear here. Now, one thing you will notice or you may say, you may argue this is one of the downside, but it helps me to uh, get my job done. Is that you can't edit because it's now an object, a PDF file. You move around, arrange according to you need, double click on it, you may zoom in and out accordingly. You may crop it, you may drag it bigger. And this is what you will get. Oh, no. Oh, oopsie. Undo. Yeah. So this is uh, how you appear. You will appear as an object. You can't, you will not be able to perform uh, editing after you have imported into or you paste it into your i pages or i work. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can add another few more. Maybe uh, go. Uh, I mean, you close. Let me close this palette. You go to plus sign. New equation, maybe from templates, differential equation, vector few or others. Or I would be using something simple, just new equation. You may add, like, say, uh, go back to here, matrix, x and y matrix. Or perhaps you may add um, integration, integral, you know, from maybe 0 to Click here, five of an equation, maybe um, five x cube plus two x square 
plus six. Maybe you can have a I mean bracket control X and control V rotates and then follow by the X. Maybe this is one of those. I mean what I want to add in. And then uh yeah, yeah, this is basically what I wanted. And then copy C copy control I mean command C and then uh command V yeah this is how you appear you can't edit it you double click of it won't show anything yeah you have to drag around you may drag it become bigger release but you can't yeah there's no way to um, edit. You want to edit this equation in I pages, then you can do it. That would require you to get the third party software. So I hope uh, this video helps you in uh, getting your assignment done. And uh, I hope you will like my video from my channel, YouTube channel. Stay tuned for my next video. Thank you and Merry Christmas.